I so boom the MTA, one of the most used subway systems not only in the US of KK, I mean US of A, but in the world. People all around the world come to take it, but also notoriously complain about it. Whether it's the dirty ass trains that the city makes us pay 225 for when we charge up the trains, so even though the city doesn't realize that the 225 adds up, and that means that I have to pay mad money out of my pocket and I'm poor. Or about how confusing the train routes can be. People tend to build a disdain for the trains, huh? Bars, okay, that's, that's fine. But today I, a native New Yorker, is going to explain each train line, describe its pros and cons, and explain how you can use each one in an effective manner. For outsiders, consider this a little manual. But for New Yorkers, y'all gonna feel this one. Oh, I gotta open the gate to get my phone. One train is an RT line that started in like the early 1900s or something. It goes from Lower Manhattan straight up 7th Avenue, but local with the express train. After 96th Street, it goes up through West Harlem, Washington Heights, and then the Bronx. The Rocky of ASAP once said, Anything is better than that one train. Literally, this train is slow as f Slow as f And slower than me hitting 10,000 subscribers on this channel. Good afternoon, this is a Bronx bound one local. The man is in local. Next time. See? Next time. See? Next time. 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 Next but you're probably gonna end up transferring to the two train on 96th Street anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Which is the next train? This is a Manhattan-bound two train. The two train is also part of the IR2 line, but it goes way further than the one train. It goes from Flatbush, Brooklyn, <laughs> my beloved neighborhood. <laughs> Y'all don't care? Okay. It goes to downtown Brooklyn, lower Manhattan, through Midtown via 7th Avenue, then it goes to Harlem, and then into South Bronx, all the way to Wakefield, 241st Street, aka the uppest of town. Now the 2 train to me is kind of an underrated train, because not only is it aesthetically appealing- Now a couple of times in this video I said aesthetically appealing about the train. I just mean, you know, it looks a little new school, a little techy, you know, the conductor sounds like a robot, you know, every train is dirty. Okay, I just wanted to make that point. But it goes to mad different places culturally in the city. We got the Caribbeans in Flatbush, the Caribbeans in the uppest town of the Bronx, South Bronx, which is full of culture and crime, but mainly culture. It takes you to Times Square, World Trade. Downtown Brooklyn, 125th Street, which is full of black culture, and Flatbush Junction, which has plenty of local businesses and Brooklyn colleges over there, but I don't care, I dropped out. The 2 train could be slow in Brooklyn or the Bronx, but it runs all the time. The 2 train to me is a solid 7 out of 10. This is a Manhattan-bound retrain. The 3 train is the 2 train's cousin, basically. It goes the same places as the 2 train from Franklin to 135th Street. It's express like the 2 train in Manhattan, local like the 2 train in Brooklyn, except this train is kind of more for the trenches in Brooklyn. It goes through Brownsville in East New York, two known murder capitals of the city. But these places are getting a little better. Emphasis on a little. And although the two and the three go the same route most of the time, I feel like more people take the two train because uh, I guess the two train is more vibey, as the hype piece would say. Other than that, though, the three train usually doesn't go to Brooklyn during the night. This is an average train, five, six out of ten. I don't know. This is a Manhattan bound four train. Four train IRT from Crown Heights Utica Avenue goes through Brooklyn Express. Manhattan via Lexington Avenue Express. Then basically goes through the west side of the Bronx. The four train is one of the best trains in the city. It goes through downtown Brooklyn, Union Square, Grand Central, Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. And for the mode that has a lot of great local businesses. It could be slow during late night and weekends because it's local in Manhattan, but it's still a pretty useful train, especially in Brooklyn because it replaces the three train after Utica. Avenue on late nights, 8 to 9 out of 10. This is a Manhattan bound 5 train. 4 and the 5 are basically cousins. They go the same route from Franklin Avenue all the way to 149th Street Grand Concourse in the Bronx. But after Franklin Avenue, the 5 train usually goes to Flatbush Avenue, Brooklyn College with the 2 train. After 149th Street Grand Concourse, the 5 train goes with the 2 train up to East 180th Street and goes to East Chester Dyer Avenue in the uppest of town. Now you see, the 5 train could be a little confusing though, because sometimes instead of going to Flatbush Avenue, Brooklyn College, it will go to Crown Heights Utica Avenue during the weekdays. Sometimes instead of going to East Chester Dyer Avenue, it will go to Neary 238th Street with the 2 train. The 2 and the 5 train are kind of like brother. During Women's History Month now, during Black Women's History The Red Pill community is going to hate me for this one. The 2 and the 5 train are basically like sister weight. Okay, technically I'm recording this on March 30th, but actually this video is being posted in April, so... 
brothers. The two and the five are brothers. Now, when the two, three, four, and the five get together for the family reunion from Franklin Avenue to Barbara Hall, if one of these trains are having train problems, the whole train line is having train problems. And it doesn't matter if the two and the five and the three and the four have separate train problems, it will all shut down. There have been times where I was on my way to school and had to go home because of the train line shutting down. Actually, that's not that bad. It's also important to note that the 5 train does not go to Brooklyn late nights and the weekends. If the 5 train wasn't so goddamn confusing, it would be probably way more up on the list. The Manhattan bound 6 train. Locally known in the city as the most ghetto train. I mean, come on guys, it's only local through Manhattan via Lexington Avenue with the 4 and the 5. Then it goes through South Bronx neighborhoods like Mark Haven and Hunts Point and yeah, I guess this train is a little yeah, but the Bronx got a lot of culture guys, come on. And it goes to multiple places on the east side of Manhattan. Do you mean like East Harlem, home of the strongest crackheads? Okay, the 6 train is not that good, okay? It's mad slow like the 1 train, and it goes to the Bronx. Sometimes it stops at Park Chester, other times it goes all the way to Bellingham Parkway, which connects to buses that goes to City Island, Bay Plaza, Orchard Beach. Okay, I've never personally went to those places, but they seem like great places, come on guys. This is a Queensbound 7 train. The solo number train, obviously. And the only number train that goes to Queens. From 34th Street, Hudson Yards, it goes across 42nd Street. Then it goes through mostly the northern parts of Queens, like Queens Plaza, Jackson Heights, City Field Stadium, where the New York Mets played, even though nobody but Queens people care about the Mets. And Flushing, a popular Asian community that is full of local businesses. Sometimes the 7 train goes through Queens Express during rush hour. I mean, I guess it's a pretty solid train, especially for Queens people. Even though it's one of those trains that if it shuts down, <laughs> you're done if you live in Queens. You're you're done. Pretty average, you know, six out of ten. But since this month been training with 30 minutes to get on it so I could record this clip, uh, now it goes down to three out of ten. Also, I'm risking getting a lot of tickets for this video, so make sure you leave a like. Let's get to 100 likes and just may help my self-esteem. This is a Brooklyn bound A train. Part of the IND line and is widely known as one of the most convenient trains in the city. First of all, this train connects to basically every train in the city. But it doesn't connect to the 6 train. Okay, take the A train to Fulton Street, transfer to the 4 to 5, and take the 4 to 5 one stop to the Brooklyn Bridge City Hall. The 6 train is right there. That is a transfer to me. Including all of the shuttles. And it basically goes to every part of the city. It doesn't go to the Bronx technically, but it connects to mad trains that go through the Bronx. It goes through the west side of Manhattan. Express, except for late nights. Into northern Brooklyn. Express, except for late nights. Then it goes to Queens, and it can go either two ways. Either goes to Ozone Park. Home of the backwards speaking Guyanese. It's curry chicken, by the way. Not chicken curry. You can't chicken a curry. Or it goes all the way down to the Bikini Bottom. I mean, Far Rockaway. It look more like Rock Bottom. <laughs> that route also connects you to the air train that goes to the JFK Airport. Nah, why sound like a white lady looking for fresh Negro meat? Honestly, there's really not anything more to say about the A train, unless there's train delays, of course. 9 out of 10. This is a Manhattan-bound B train. In Brooklyn, this express from Brighton Beach all the way to Prospect Park goes downtown. And it gives you views, no Drake, of the Manhattan Bridge, where you'll see the Williamsburg Bridge and projects. Then it goes through Chinatown slash East Village slash Soho Express on 6th Avenue. Then it goes local on Central Park West. How is it in one borough and it goes from Express to local? That makes no f Once it gets to 145th Street, it either terminates there or goes to the Bronx up to Bedford Park Boulevard. To be honest, this train is pretty irrelevant considering the fact that it doesn't run on late nights or weekends and it has trains to replace it when it doesn't run. It's Express in Brooklyn. Though. When you go to work, you could take the B train Express if you live in that part of Okay. 3 out of 10. This is a Manhattan bound C train. You know when you're trying to go out with your friends and your parent comes to you to be like, hey, bring your little sibling with you. C train is the A train's little sibling. The C train literally follows the A from Euclid all the way to 168th Street locally. Have you on the local? And it's pretty irrelevant late at night because the A train replaces it. Honestly, the C train is kind of more boring than the B train. Or should I say coring? <laughs> Get it? C, blue, crib. <laughs> Hey, yo, sir. Okay, I need a job. Three out of two out of ten. This is a Manhattan bound D train. One of the trains that goes to Coney Island goes through a southern part of Brooklyn. Fourth Avenue Express, which is basically Sunset Park, downtown Brooklyn, goes over the Manhattan Bridge with the B train. Runs Express through Sixth Avenue, runs Express through Central Park West with the A train. Then it goes through West Side of the Bronx. The D is honestly not that bad. Pause. Hey, yo, what the? It's underrated to me in terms of convenience. It pretty much goes through a lot of parts of the city. Besides Queens, of course, but... Who wants to go to Queens? I'm just playing, guys. 
Honestly, I'll give the D a solid 8 out of 10. You are emasculating men. This is a Queensbound E train. Popularly known as the train that have characters like Bob, how are ya? Yeah, I presented the idea to the corporate office. I think I'm gonna love it, dude. I swear. Bro, I'm too old to be playing on the train like this. If this video idea doesn't bang, I'm still gonna be broke. I mean, the first stop for the E-Train is in corporate Manhattan. It goes up the west side of Manhattan, then goes across 53rd Street into Queens. It goes to places like Queens Plaza, Jackson Heights, Forest Hills. Then it goes to popular Jamaica Center. And if you don't know, once you get up them stairs in Jamaica Center, all you're gonna hear is... Sound, sound, sound. Sound, sound. I got, I got sour, fam. Got that sour fam, got that, got that sour shorty, got that sour fam, I got that sour Sometimes it gets confusing, it be switching tracks with a whole nother line sometimes, the F train To the New Yorkers, have you ever realized that the E train be packed as for no reason? During rush hour, the E train is one of the most congested trains To the point where they had to build whole new train cars just to fit 80 to 100 additional passengers I told y'all, and don't be lying. I guess it's kind of convenient. 7. 7 out of 10. This is a Manhattan-bound F train. One of the trains that go to Colony Island, then it goes to McDonald Avenue through the south side of Brooklyn, then it goes with the G train through some other parts of Brooklyn, like, uh, like, um, shit, Sir Terrace, Cobble Hill, and, uh, some other shit. Then it goes to downtown Brooklyn. Then a little bit of Lower East Side, a little bit of Chinatown, a little bit of Soho. Then it goes to 6th Avenue. It's the only train that goes to Roosevelt Island, which is a pretty cool island if you want to get away from the city. Then it goes to like a northern part of Queens Express with the E train. Then it separates with the E train to go through a more affluent part of Jamaica. The F runs pretty much all the time and it's really not that bad. It's a pretty average train. 5 out of 10. This is a Queensbound G train. Or sometimes I call it the H train because it's very much the hippie train. Because not only does it go through literally the hippie parts of Brooklyn, like gentrified but cultural Bed-Stuy and Williamsburg, and the hippie parts of Queens like Court Square, I mean, come on. Court Square sounds mad OD hip. But it's also literally the only train that does not go to Manhattan. And it's one of the only trains that have only four cars, unlike the other trains that have eight to ten. You stupid. It runs at all times, but if it's having severe problems at a certain point, then you're messed up. And if you're trying to get into the hippie things of New York City, especially if you're looking for a candy boy and a candy slash gothic girl, then the G train is for you. Why you got a necklace? If you're trying to avoid Manhattan, it's a 7 out of 10. In reality, it's probably just like a 5. This is a Brooklyn bound J train. The J train is known as one of the more underrated trains. And when I say underrated, I mean underrated ghetto trains. You see, after Lower Manhattan and Lower East Side, it goes through some trenches, but not so much trenches. Like the rugged parts of Williamsburg, Bushwick, and the Hispanic East New York, aka Cypress Hills. Then it goes through like random parts of Queens, and then Jamaica Center. I got that side. Every time someone tells me a story about the J train, it's always something bad. Like someone I know got hit with the jokes. Someone else I know got jumped. Also, sometimes when I ride the J train, it be taking 20 minutes at a time to come. Yeah, don't take the train. 2 out of 10. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to ensure your protection from the demons of the J train. I'm trying to hit 10k by the end of April. Also, make sure you keep watching because there's a surprise at the end. This is a Brooklyn-bound L train. Goes across 14th Street. Then it goes through northern Brooklyn neighborhoods like Williamsburg, Bushwick. Then it becomes the border of Brownsville in East New York. I mean, that should tell you enough about this train. Then it goes to Canarsie at the last stop. The only train that runs to Canarsie. That's tough. The L train is kind of annoying because there's always some type of construction going on. See, look. Broadway Junction. The last stop is Canarsie, not Broadway Junction. There's always some type of problem with the L train. I told y'all. Also a fun fact, there's a huge, always a huge demographic change on the L train after Broadway Junction. I told y'all. L gets a six. Minus two. This is a Manhattan bound M train. M train from L. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. I'm not gonna lie, the M train is mad weird. Because both of its last slash first stops are both in Queens. The f it goes to Middle Village, Queens. You know, over there you have a. Uh, the only thing I know about over there is Christ the King High School. Popular, but y'all don't care about it. And then it goes through that little part of Queens that nobody knows about. Then it goes through Bushwick. Then it goes with the J train on Broadway. Then. Woo! 
Lower East Side, Soho. It's local with the F on 6th Avenue. It goes local by the E and the F is express on that little line to Jackson Heights and Forest Hills or whatever. And then it stops at Forest Hills. Honestly, I don't know shit about this train. I barely took this train. I feel like it has no relevancy unless you're living in Bushwick or like whatever part of Queens this is. Like Seneca Avenue, like I, I, I. Also, it terminates at Myrtle Avenue during late nights and it terminates at Essex Street during the weekend. We are the ten. This is a Manhattan bound and train. And train. And, and train. And, and I am confused. Three out of the four trains that go to Coney Island, then it goes through Southern Brooklyn via the C Beach Line. It goes from 59th Street to Atlantic Avenue with the D and the R trains, but the D and the N runs express. The local during late nights. Then Soho. During late nights and weekends before Soho, it goes through Lower Manhattan via the R Line. We soon get to that. Midtown on Broadway Express. Local during late nights and the weekends. Then it goes across 59th Street to go into Queens. Sometimes during the show. Sometimes during rush hour, it goes to 96th Street via the Q line. We soon get to that too. It goes to Queens Plaza, then it goes up 31st Street in Astoria, Queens, up until Ditmar's Avenue. Then train is average, but it does have a lot of convenience. People who live in Astoria, Southern Brooklyn, is useful. One of the quicker trains if you're coming from Coney Island. 7 out of 10. This is a Manhattan bound Q. No juice. <laughs> get it? Because, like, the movie Juice and the character. Q train is the last train on this train today that goes to Coney Island. It goes local from Coney Island up to downtown Brooklyn. But then it goes to Soho and goes express with the N train via Broadway, but local late nights and weekends. It goes across 59th Street and then up 2nd Avenue to go to 96th Street. Actually, I remember in the old days when the Q train actually used to go to Queens with the N train up to Dipmars and then on the weekends it would terminate at 57th Nobody cares! Shut up! This is a Manhattan bound R train. To me, the R train is similar to the one train because it is slow as weather's going from Bay Ridge to downtown Brooklyn, going through Broadway local while the N and the Q is express, or going through Queens local with the M train while the E and the F is express. The R train is very slow. But although the R train is slow, it does have some convenience. And the R train pretty much goes through safe neighborhoods in the city. I don't think the R train goes through any hoods. That's one advantage. Our train gets a solid five out of ten. Shuttles. To the shuttle to Rockaway Park. Goes to the west side of the Rockaways and it connects to the A train. I mean, that's pretty much it. Rockaway doesn't have that many trains. And what are you going to the Rockaways for unless you're going to the beach? Because there is nothing else there except the trenches. The Franklin Avenue Shuttle. It's a shuttle that goes along Franklin Avenue that connects you to the B&Q trains at Prospect Park. Then it goes to Botanic Garden, which is the Franklin Avenue station for the 2, 3, 4, and 5. Park Place. And then Fulton Street, Franklin Avenue, you can catch the C train, A train when it's late night. So basically the shuttle is for Brooklyn trains that go to Manhattan or to the gentrified trenches. The shuttle to Grand Central. And the most relevant shuttle, the 42nd Street shuttle. It goes from Times Square to Grand Central. But it doesn't run late nights. Take the 7 train for an alternative. Now it's the most relevant because it's in Manhattan and it's a tourist attraction on 42nd Street. Literally every on 42nd Street. And it connects to every train that gets to 42nd Street, which is basically every train except for these. This is a Manhattan bound W train. The W train is not a W, it's the N and the R step cousin, and it doesn't run late nights or weekends, 2 out of 10. This is a Brooklyn bound Z train. The Z train literally runs only on rush hour and it's usually expressed, but it's literally, it literally runs only on rush hours. And the J replaces it when it's not running, which is literally all the time. The Z is really irrelevant, 1 out of 10. Okay, I was a little too harsh. I mean, the Z train is expressed when it runs, but it's literally only twice throughout the day and the J replaces it. And when the J replaces it, especially late nights, the J train comes every 20 minutes, like I said earlier. So one plus one, two out of 10. Staten Island Railway. A train line that goes to a city in New Jersey. I mean, the fifth of our uh, New York City. It goes to the east side of Staten Island from St. George Ferry to Tottenville. It goes to places like Arthur's Kill, Staples. A bus that goes to Staten Island. Okay, I don't know where this train goes. Okay, so nobody goes to Staten Island. Staten Island is completely far away from the other four boroughs. It's like, there's no reason for you to come here, to be honest. Unless you're trying to get some peace and quiet, which I can understand. I do that too when I come to Staten Island. I come to Staten Island for peace and quiet. That's pretty much it. There's really nothing else to do. The mall is pretty cool though. It's pretty bigger than the other malls in, in the city because 
this tomorrow is basically New Jersey. It's, it's New it's New York, New York. No, it's New Jersey. <laughs> it's basically New Jersey. Okay, you have to take a whole ferry to even get to the train. The ferry got views though. I feel like most of the time when you're inside now, you're going to be using the bus anyway. So it's like zero out of ten. Connection is available to Long Island Railroad. It's obvious. There's a train. So I go to Long Island. It is not like the MTA. You have to pay more money to get on it, of course, because it's going further distances. Here are all the places it goes. And the main train station is Jamaica and Queens. It has multiple transfers. It only has one stop in Manhattan, three stops in Brooklyn, and mass stops in Queens because Queens never has any trains, so they take this. Yeah, unless you live in Queens and Long Island, this won't really have any significance to you. But for those who live in Queens and Long Island, it's the most convenient thing to take when you're trying to get to the city. Connection is available to Metro North. From Grand Central 42nd Street, it goes into upstate New York, multiple routes. The furthest it goes is Wasiak. It also goes into Connecticut up until New Haven. Connection is available to Path Trains. It's a train that goes to New Jersey. The furthest it goes to New Jersey Hello, is... Hello, Path Riders. The 96 and 23rd Street station, 4 of 33. Anyways, the furthest it goes in New Jersey is Newark, and then it only goes through Manhattan, through like the World Trade Center area, and then up 6th Avenue, 14th Street, where I'm at right now, 23rd Street, and then 33rd Street is the last stop. They're cool, I guess. Now I covered all the trains, but here's the thing though. I had a secret message that you were missing this whole time throughout every single train that I explained. They're all the same. Although every train has its distinct qualities and characteristics, they are all the same in terms of the fact that the MTA is completely and utterly unpredictable, whether it's the service changes, and I mean so many service changes, or like how it has been lately with all the crime that's been going on in the MTA trains for some reason, whether it's the filth and the garbage and the smell. The smell! These trains are unpredictable, and yet we have to pay $275 a ride for the outsider looking in. Oh, $275 is not that much. $275 times 3 is $825. You times that by, let's say, 5 days a week, that's $4125. You times that 4 weeks in a month, that's $165 a month. A local 2, train 2, Flagwish Avenue, Brooklyn College, 16. Minutes away. Shut up. You're trying, to, you're trying to stop me from talking the truth. Right? And that's not including the weekends. New York is already expensive as it is. We have to pay another $165 plus on the weekends when we have to travel. Come on, man. I'm just trying to do this thing right now. If you pay with the credit card on the electric thing 12 times, it's free for the rest of the week. Shut up. How about we put it back to $150 a ride, okay? Yes, the trains used to be 150 How about the college students that are struggling out here? Get an extra card with a maximum fee. And if they get over the maximum fee, they pay back whatever they have to owe after the maximum fee so that they can learn how to manage their money. That's why I made a petition to stop the MTA from making the rides 275 and put it back to 150 to make the metro cards for the college students that I was explaining. You can check for the petition to, to have more clarification on what I'm talking about. And if I get 10,000 signatures, yes, 10,000. It's gonna take a while for me to get 10,000 because I'm not gonna lie, only five people will be watching my videos. But if I get 10,000 signatures, when I get 10,000 signatures, I vow that I will go to the MTA office, the MTA headquarters, whatever they are at, sneak in that motherfucker if I have to, and convince them to lower the price down to 150 and to have metro cars for the college students that I was just explaining. But until the 10,000, I hope my tips on every train was useful. And with all the BS that's been going on with the MTA trains, everyone stay safe, man. Stay up. <laughs>